In the beginning, we see Tadek on a train. He jumps out of the train in a hurry while a beautiful girl sees him. While walking Tadek ruins his shirt because of messy stuff falling on him. Later, we see him buying ice cream. Tadek later goes to a house and rings the doorbell. To his surprise, his sister opens up the door half naked. She covers herself quickly and also feels disappointed that he is home. She seems to have a problem with him. Tadek gives her the ice cream but Anka is getting ready for her date. She leaves Tadek alone in the house and leaves giving him a goodbye kiss. Tadek watched her sit in the car with a man. Tadek moves around some furniture and sits on a sofa waiting for his sister to return. At night, she comes home laughing with her partner. They both are drunk. They wake up Tadek and tell him to get out of the bedroom while they crash on each other. Tadek goes to sit inside the bathroom. In the morning, we see Tadek sleeping on the couch while Anka's partner tries to bond with Tadek. He leaves for his work while Anka smokes. She asks why he returned to her suddenly. She asks why he moved around the furniture. Tadek says he tried to make the house as it was before when he used to live here. Now, we see Ermina doing household chores just when some kids break their relative's car. In the next scene, we see Tadek reading a book but his sister Anka calls him from the bathroom. She tells him to go into the hall and not to turn around. Anka comes out with a beautiful one piece and tells him to turn out. She says she can't afford it and has to return it soon. Tadek and Anka sit for lunch and talk about their family. She again asks how long Tadek will live here. Anka says they don't have enough space for him to sleep. She says her fiancé has taken up his old bedroom to keep his things. At night, Tadek goes through the old pictures and recalls his memories with his sister Anka. He later finds an image of Anka with some revealing parts. He zooms in to look at her chest and gives a subtle smile. In the morning, Tadek sees some people packing stuff. He sees Anka's fiancé removing his stuff from Tadek's bedroom, letting him sleep there from now on. Tadek goes out to meet some old friends and play sports with them. He asks about Anka's fiancé but his friend says she is lucky to have him. But Tadek also learns that the man is married and had kids. Disappointed Tadek goes to complain about this to his sister. They both argue over the topic. But Anka defends her fiancé and says she called their aunt. She says he is supposed to stay just for a few days and not move in. She also gets angry and says he touches her inner and acts like a pervert. She tells Tadek to leave her house. But Tadek says he wanted to be with her like old days. In the upcoming scene, we see an agent coming to meet Anka to tell her she hasn't paid her electricity bill for months. The agent tries to touch her but Anka pulls away her hand. When she returns home she sees Tadek packing his bag but she goes and stops him. She says I kicked you out before and you had to suffer a lot with strangers. They both get emotional and start to cry. They hug each other crying. They both remember the old days and how much they have suffered. At night, Tadek tries to sleep but has difficulty getting comfortable. In the morning, he does some work and earns money. Ermina sees him in the market and says she knew he would meet her again. They both go someplace else and talk. Ermina takes his hand to tell him his fortune. Tadek says he doesn't believe in such things but she still proceeds. She looks at two lines and says those lines mean something. But Tadek explains one of those lines is due to he tried to cut himself when he was a child. She says she will be his future wife. They both laugh and Tadek leaves because he doesn't take this fortune thing seriously. When Tadek comes back home he catches Andre having intercourse with another woman. Tadek quickly locks Andre inside the house and waits for Anka to come home. Anka comes home and learns the harsh truth about her fiancé. Andre tries to make up with Anka but she breaks up with him and tells him not to come here again. Tadek is satisfied with this. But at night the siblings don't have electricity. Tadek comes to Anka's bed and sleeps beside her. He hugs her while Anka brushes his hair. But Anka suddenly gets up and asks Tadek to leave her room. Because they don't have any electricity the refrigerator gets messy. Anka while cleaning gets emotional and says she was going to pay them tomorrow. Tadek tries to console her and gives her some money. But Anka asks to be left alone as that money is not enough to pay the bills. The next day, Tadek takes up a flyer job where he again runs into Ermina. They both talk and Ermina asks if he needs some money. Ermina leaves and later we see Tadek polishing Anka's sandals. She laughs and leaves to change but her door stays open. Tadek stares at her getting undressed. Anka yells at him and Tadek closes the door. Later Tadek assures Anka that he will bring the money and that she doesn't have to beg from others. They both have fun and later we see Tadek walking in the street gets jumped by a bunch of people. They corner him but Ermina comes to save him. She again asks him if he needs some money. He says he needs 800. Ermina says she knows a way to get it. Late at night, 
they both sneak into an abandoned building and steal a carpet. They go to a shop to sell the carpet but the owner only offers Tadek 300. Bermina calling Tadek hopeless tricks the owner into thinking this carpet is made of pure wool. The seller sells it for 650. The duo leaves the market and Ermina says she'll bring 150 back. While at her house one of the relatives asks Ermina what her favorite subjects are. She says biology and chemistry because she wants to become a doctor. The relatives including her father start to laugh. Ermina starts crying and asks her mother why she doesn't defend her. Her mother says that Ermina's father is stubborn and won't listen to her. Ermina steals some money from her house and goes to see Tadek. Tadek thanks her and says he owes her. Tadek says she can count on him no matter what. Tadek from a window waits to see his sister turn on the lights. He gets happy when Anka turns on all the lights. He runs back home and enters the bathroom where Anka is bathing. She asks how he did it. At first, Tadek says he earned it. He also gives her ice cream but gets a call from Ermina. Tadek in a hurry climbs down the stairs. Ermina says she wants to talk something but Tadek says he can't talk now and she should come back tomorrow. Ermina disappointed leaves and doesn't even turn back when Tadak calls her. Tadek returns to the apartment and undresses himself and enters the bathtub. Anka yells at him but Tadek doesn't listen. Tadek throws some water at Anka. Tadek takes everything lightly but Anka yells and leaves the bathroom. Tadek feels upset. Later, we see heavy rain at night and Anka is trying to sleep. But she doesn't feel sleepy and goes to Tadek's room. She sees Tadek sleeping and sits beside him. She rubs his hand and Tadek wakes up. Anka says this is all wrong and that doing things like this doesn't make them brother and sister. Anka says she knows he wants to sleep with her. Tadek in return says I love you. He says he doesn't feel ashamed of his feelings. Later, we see them both making out and being physical with each other. The next day, we see Tadek rolling down the street on a grocery basket. On his way, he sees Anka's ex-fiancé. Tadek quickly starts running and goes to his apartment. He quickly disconnects the answering machine and goes down to the gate. He tells her fiancé that she isn't home. He tries to call her from the answering machine but it doesn't work. The ex-fiancé leaves. Tadek goes to buy a movie ticket and comes back home but sees Anka's fiancé sitting. Tadek asks what is he doing but the fiancé explains that Anka keeps calling him. He also says Anka calls him to get physical. Anka comes home but things get out of hand when Tadek says he will kill her fiancé or he will kill himself. Later, we see Anka and Andre at the opening ceremony of a sports stadium. Tadek stands in the corner feeling left out. A man trying to dance with Anka gets close to her so she decides to leave. Andre talks about the same man and says he is going to be a minister. Anka says he was touching her. But Andre ignores and talks more about the man. Anka leaves for the bathroom and washes her face but Andre follows her. He starts to kiss her neck but Anka doesn't feel anything. Andre says the man will take her to a hotel and she should wait there. Anka says no and keeps insisting on saying no. Andre on this pulls her by hair stunning her. He tries to put her in a cab with the man so they can be in the hotel alone. Anka realizes this and slaps Andre and also tells the man to get out of the cab. She goes home and Tadak follows her. Tadak tries to talk with her but she keeps crying. Tadak screams her name but Anka keeps crying. The scene cuts to Ermina's wedding where everyone except her is happy. Everyone is singing songs and drinking. Ermina sits down without any emotions. But some people throw Molotov cocktails at the wedding causing chaos. One of the men meets Tadek out on the railway tracks and explains what he did. Tadek asks if doing that was fun. The man excitingly says yes and Tadek starts to beat him up. Tadek pokes the man's eyes and beats him. Tadek leaves and sits at the place where he first interacted with Ermina. Ermina arrives at the place in her wedding dress. Tadek asks that in her fortune they were supposed to get married and stay together. Ermina says she wanted to become a doctor and that her fiancé might let her become one. She says she hates him and gives him a goodbye kiss. She walks to her fiancé and Tadek leaves. When he gets home he sees Anka sitting depressed. She tells him that his bags are over there. Tadek gets ready to leave just when Anks takes out the ice cream with two spoons. Tadek sits down and they both start to eat the ice cream. They don't say anything and just enjoy the ice cream.